What's up, Scroll Deers? It's Nerp here, and welcome to the very first installment of Scroll's Top Plays of the Week. I have five awesome plays for you today, so let's jump right into this thing. Leading off at number five, we have Anti Rad. I just had to include one of this guy's top plays in the countdown. He has been tearing it up lately across the Scrolls world, winning tournaments left and right and sitting at or near the top of the ranked ladder. Anti Rad was in a tough spot in the ESL Order All Stars Finals vs. Sark last Sunday. He had less board control and needed to react or his creatures would likely be toast the following turn. He uses a strategic flip to get rid of Zark's biggest threat and dispose of that Eternal Sword for good, while playing an Eternal Sword of his own to clear up the row. This play tipped the tables and Anti Red never looked back on his way to win the ESL. Next up at number 4 is a ranked match between Ugster and Dialex. They exchange punch for punch in a really well played energy vs growth matchup. Dialex needs to somehow break into Uxor's forces and uses an Unleash Inner Power on his Striped Fangbar to do so. You don't see that every day. Unfortunately for Dialex, Uxor's Copper Automaton lived and was able to clear his board after a brutal Thunder Surge. Although, later in the match, Dialex came back to win with a God Hand Crimson Bolt. At number 3 in the countdown is a crazy play by the Scrolls legend, Blinky himself. There's a link to his Scrolls YouTube channel in the description below. He was facing myself in our challenge match on the test server and was able to pull off a round 4 top reaver Thea using the new Scroll Grave Gruel and without even needing a power trip. He was able to get a round 3 Thea against the hard AI and it is also possible to get a round 2 Thea. He is a fantastic deck builder and could come up with some crazy plays like this. It's also fun to note that a couple of not top plays were present in this match as well. We are now in top 2 territory, I repeat, we are now in top 2 territory. The runner up play on top scrolls plays of the week belongs to Azara in a judgement match versus myself. Another match where I was on the receiving end of a top play. I had a great judgement draft with, pleth with a plethora of dust runners and ash runners and even a champion Thea. And it didn't seem like Azara had any answers, until the old Stormrunner Bombard came out to play and even a champion ring to kill my own champion. That was some board clear. Ladies and gentlemen, it's what you've all been waiting for. The top scrolls play of the week belongs to... Jay Hunsber or Junsber, or I don't know, it's the awesome play that we should be focused on. He watches his units be picked away by his opponent as he builds his Decay Ball of Death. It's looking very bleak for Jay Hunsberg until the Bombard Blast Strike. If he had Iron Whip the Mire Shambler instead of that Husk, it would have been a complete board clear. Wow. That Blast Strike is awesome. Let's see that again in slow-mo. What a beautiful play. Congratulations, Jansber. Message me in-game or something to receive your 1,000 gold prize. I really hope that you all enjoyed the video, depending on if you enjoyed or not. Please click the like or dislike button below, and don't forget to subscribe if you plan on watching more of my scrolls content. Visit my video explaining this series in the description below for more info on how to submit your top play to me, and maybe you can be in the next episode. This series runs on you guys, the fans, the scroll deers. If you want another installment, then I need your submissions. If you notice I don't upload one next Friday or the Friday after that, it's probably because I didn't receive enough submissions, so don't be alarmed. I'm also seriously considering jacking up the gold prizes a lot, so be excited for that and make sure you submit your top plays. I guess that's it, so take care everyone and keep on scrolling.